Just Bites and Brews. Bites and brews. Okay, we're back. More bites, more beers, more non-alcoholic mumbo jumbo. We're trekking along. We're midway through the month. Day 15. I guess midway tomorrow would be because 31 days. Why did they make it January? They should have done dry February. 28 days would have been so simple. We would have been done with it so quick. But now we got extra three days because of this mistake people made. Well, for the New Year's resolution of not drinking, and then right after that, they're getting drunk even more. So, anyway, we're sticking through it. We're going all 31 days. We're 15 days in. We'll call it the halfway point. Let's dive right in. What are we drinking today? Back to Athletic Brewing, probably the most popular company. Big line of uh, non-alcoholic beverages out there. Today I'm excited because we got a red, like a amber IPA. Um, it's called Sunset Stoke. I keep calling it Sunset Stroke. I don't know why. Can't read. I just put a fucking R in for myself. Excuse me. Um, Non-alcoholic IPA contains less than 5% alcohol by volume. We know it. We love it. We love their designs. They're pretty cool. Let's see if we love this beer. IPAs have been uh, tested a little bit harder than... Uh, our Pilsners lately, so I think so far I'm like Pilsners and sour like farmhouse ales that are IPAs, or uh, versus IPAs, sorry. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, very dark. Very, very dark. I wonder if this is going to have a multi flavor or is it going to be an IPA? It's bubbling up nicely though. It's a nice aroma. I wish they would give the nutritional facts. I don't understand why they don't have to. Sodas have to. This is kind of like lining up like a soda. So you should know what you're drinking just because it's a craft beer or craft non-alcoholic beer. Beautiful color, muddy look to it, dark, rich. Smells delicious. I think something's in my eye, whatever. As long as my taste buds still work. Uh, it's bubbling it up. It's it's interesting. This is a really dark red IPA. Can't even tell you what it like reminds me of in the regular world IPA because I don't really drink that many dark IPAs like this. It's not West Coast style. It's not East Coast style. It's more like a it's kind of mismatch of everything with a dark tone to it. I wonder what hops they use in it. Like this is definitely a multi-year beer. Let's let's dive right in. Let's see what it's all about. Smokiness. It's definitely similar to uh, like a stouty stouty beer. You don't smell the stouty, but you taste it. It has a smoky weird flavor. I'm not loving this one. No. Not at all. This one just kind of lacks the like umph that their other beers have. Like this one is it's a red IPA. Like that's really what it is. It's just it's not meant to be non-alcoholic. doesn't have like the body to it it's very light clean it's like so now that any sweetness like it would have been good if it had like a little multi like sweetness to it really like really good sugars in it but it's like missing one thing one thing and I don't know what that is but hey can't win them all, can't have a great day every day. You know, the weeks will only get better. I don't know if we had a beer to drink after this. <sighs> I 
yeah, I don't know. Hopping off, uh, I'm gonna give this guy a 175. I'm not not pleased with it. It's not like you can't drink it. You could definitely drink it if you like this style of beer. It's not my thing. I'm gonna move on from it. I'm not gonna, you know, buy this again. Probably won't do this for another 11 months after this anyway, so. Yeah, I think that's all, folks. This is definitely a hop off, low score. We're not happy with it. Tomorrow will bring you a better day, right? We'll try something new. Let's go. Cheers.